Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to give you a brief look at QuickMagic's AI powered motion capture system. And to be honest, I was completely blown away by the quality it can deliver right off the bat, especially in the feet area, and most importantly by the fact that you can use any video for motion capture, not only those you shot with your smartphone. Let's dive right into launching QuickMagic's main interface now by going to the upload section. I will upload my test video. For this purpose, I shot a quick video of myself looking around in our office gym. Let's confirm it. And now to detect the character in the video, we need to press the roll detection button. It does some magic under the hood, and here it shows me that the next step will be about dragging the boy avatar onto the human character it detected in my video. So let's do exactly that. Done. Now just let's click on the next step button, leaving everything by default and click generate now button. It will take some time to process depending on the complexity and length of your video. In my case, processing of this roughly 12 second video took about a minute, which I think is great. And here we have our processing finished. Let's click on our video and see the result. As you can see, QuickMagic prepared a pretty neat preview of the resulting animation already applied to some anime character. Check the feet area, guys. I personally never saw such a level of precision in any AI-based mock-up solution. Floating feet are a usual pain in the back in mock-up in general, but here it seems like the system knows when feet are planted to the ground, which I think is absolutely great. And the moves overall are very precise. Now let's just download our animation as FBX. It comes in zip archive, which I will extract to my desktop. I'm switching to Blender and importing my FBX into it. By the way, don't forget to turn on automatic bone orientation in the armature settings, otherwise bones will be oriented wrongly. So here's our character looking around and in my opinion guys, I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. Let's hide the skeleton so it's not in our way. Again, pay close attention to the feet area. See how well feet are grounded while the character does all the movements looking around. In many cases, with other similar mock-up solutions, feet would require quite an intensive cleaning in 3D software afterwards. Of course, you may want to clean some parts here and there, but even this raw mock-up data I would say is almost production ready, depending of course uh, whether it's the main character you're working on or some secondary NPC, you know, which will be in the background. And that's it. In just a few simple steps you can extract mock-up data from pretty much any video you may have in no time. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more CG and 3D tips. Let me know in the comments below what is your experience with AI based mock up systems, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.